At their peak in the early 20th century, paddle wheel towboats helped keep our economy humming, hauling coal and steel across the U.S. Only one of those 700 boats is still intact, and it's the treasure of Marietta, Ohio. Here's Anthony Mason. Nestled along the Muskingum River in this small southeast Ohio town, the people of Marietta are trying to save a symbol of history. This is the only one that's still floating. 86-year-old Joseph Rudder remembers when paddle wheel towboats like the W.P. Snyder ruled the waterways, moving tons of coal and steel to and from the mills and mines, fueling America's industrial growth through the first half of the 20th century. When I was a kid, I, uh, I had ambitions that it would be nice to work on the boats that seemed a little more romantic and so forth. But by 1960, they were replaced by more powerful vessels, many destroyed by boiler fires or recycled for scrap. Jeff Spear is president of a river preservation group which bought the Snyder in 1954 and in partnership with the Ohio Historical Society has kept it here along the riverbank as part of a museum exhibit for the past 50 years. She's not frail. She's just a little bit seen better days, let's put it that way. Originally built in 1918, the Snyder is showing its age, rust is destroying the hull, and it's taking on water, raising fears the boat may sink. The museum is using $1.5 million in grants to save the historic landmark by moving it to a specialty shipyard for a 10-month restoration project. But moving a 340-ton ship can be daunting. They use diesel-powered towboats to guide the Snyder through bends and away from other ships, and got the Army Corps of Engineers to manually turn open century-old railroad bridges so the ship could pass through. For Joseph Rudder, fixing the Snyder is about rebuilding a community treasure. The city is, is anxious to get it back and keep it in good shape. In hopes of keeping a unique piece of Americana afloat. Anthony Mason, CBS News, New York.